Hey everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to Artsy Bits, my channel where you know there will be creativity, but you don't know exactly what the creativity will be. Today I am working in my sketchbook again. This is actually a brand new sketchbook, so I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I actually bought this on recommendation from Lee Ellickson and her channel. She's just been such an inspiration to me. I've been binge watching all of her videos, so you'll want to check her out. But this is the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook, and I went ahead and purchased it in the 8.5 by 11 size. It feels so soft on the outside. It's a great texture, I love it. And I'm comparing it here to the black to show you. It's not really a true black. It's more of a deep brown color on the cover. Really nice paper on the inside. I was actually kind of surprised. It's much thicker or maybe the quality is just far better than in one of my other mixed media sketchbooks. I'm just going through and pressing down some pages here because it seemed like the right thing to do. I don't know. Is this a good idea? It seemed like it because it was kind of flopping closed and I just wanted to kind of warm it up a little bit. So if you watched two videos ago, I did this pencil sketch using some new pencils of this little brown cow. And today I thought it would be fun to use the same cow picture and to use my jelly gouache set and limit myself to using only greens to create a green cow. That's right, you heard me, a green cow. Just seemed like a really fun project, and it seemed like a really fun way also to play around with lights and darks and really work on different tones and values of just one color to create dimension, to create light and dark on an object. So I am using my... Prismacolor Coal Erase Colored Pencils. These are the erasable ones that I'm still kind of new to, but I have enjoyed them for this purpose here of just outlining and getting some shapes and some forms onto the page in a color that I know the end product is going to end up being. So that the pencil marks, if they do show through at all, end up sort of disappearing because they match so well with the things around them. Now, as you're watching this, I would love to know your opinion. If you can take a minute and give it to me in the comment section, this particular video has me working on two different pages across from each other in my sketchbook. And I'm doing that so that I can kind of let one page dry and work on the other one for a while, let that page dry, work back on this one for a while and so on and so forth. But what's your preference as a subscriber or as a viewer of my videos? Do you like these videos that are a little bit longer but have a couple little sketch projects happening at the same time? Or would you prefer that I separate this into two videos next time where one side is really one video and the other side is another video? Because I know these two different paintings that I'm doing in my sketchbook today are absolutely two different styles completely. And you'll see that by the end of the video. One is gonna be a floral piece, one is an animal piece, one is more realistic, one is a little bit far from being realistic, you know, green cow and everything. But I do wanna know from you down in the comment section below, which would you prefer? Do you like this video format where you're getting to see both sides of the sketchbook simultaneously come together? Or would you prefer that in the editing process, I go ahead and separate this out into two separate videos? Again, the goal of this channel isn't really tutorials or anything like that. It's just to kind of invite you along with me on the journey that I'm going through with art. One of my goals that was brought about by this pandemic and everything was I want to be more creative. I want to grow in my art. I want to be producing several days a week, whether it's good or not, it's practice. And so I want to bring you along with that. I'm not going to share the worst of the worst. So, you know, I'm looking out for you guys, but I do want to share sort of my progress and my story as an artist. I want to practice. And I think that having this YouTube channel will be a way to keep myself accountable, to keep creating and keep producing and keep sharing. So anyways, long story short, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you like this as two separate videos? Or are you enjoying it as one video today, moving back and forth between a green cow and a really fun flower painting? So let me know in the comments below. Also, if you catch yourself enjoying this video, would you take just the one second and give it a thumbs up? That helps YouTube know that people are enjoying these videos and it'll recommend them to other people who enjoy similar videos 
and it'll help the channel grow. It just helps people find what they're looking for when they hop onto YouTube and maybe they're looking for this, who knows? As you continue watching, I'm not gonna yammer on through this whole video. I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy and leave a comment or question below. Like I said, be sure you've subscribed to this channel. You can hit the bell and that way you won't miss any future Artsy Bits uploads. And most importantly, jump into the creative world, create something artsy of your own. You'll wanna to watch to the end to see how these two paintings turn out. And also I'll leave some links to some other videos and my other channel and just lots of different fun things for you to check out. So enjoy sitting back, relaxing and watching this process as I go back and forth between the cow and the flowers. Again, my goal today was just to practice with lights and darks and layering and all the fun stuff that there is to focus on when you get a new art supply like this jelly gouache palette. Sit back, relax, enjoy. As a side note, right about here, I was trying to figure out, do I or do I not add a background to this super fun green cow? I have a tendency when I'm really liking something to do something that ends up wrecking it. So I was really nervous here, but I went ahead and just added it really subtly in the background that this was a wood background. And you guys, I'm so happy I did that. I think it turned out really fun. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, but I just thought I kept it simple enough that it didn't distract from the cow and it was a win. Back to the flower side of things. Really just getting started. And if you are wondering if these are the same type of flowers that I tried to do in my other sketchbook when I was swatching my new gouache jelly palette, you are correct. This white flower in my sketchbook in the previous video where I squ 
where I squatched the gouache, where I swatched the gouache, um, I it ended up just giving me a really hard time. And so I knew I wanted to kind of revisit it and try to do a better job of capturing what these flowers looked like in real life. They're a flower that grows around me locally and saw them on a walk one day and just thought they were super breathtaking. They're a white flower, but they have these pops of red color on the petals that you'll see later. Their leaves are really oblong, but slightly textured. So I was trying to capture that today. I hope you enjoy.
I really loved painting these details on these leaves. It took extra time, but I feel like I'm challenging myself in my art anyway to slow down and pay attention to details. So this was a really good process for me of making sure the stems were kind of that reddish color, adding the veining to the leaves, going back in with a little more white on the petals, adding some dimension and playing around here. So challenging myself to become a more patient artist along the way. Give this video a thumbs up if you love peeling away the tape that you've used as liner as much as I do. This is such a rewarding process to peel the tape away to see that crisp, clean edge on a piece of art you've just created. Even if it is just a sketch, it's still a really fun reveal to me. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, go ahead and type green cow in the comment section below so I know you watched to the end. Stay artsy and I hope you have a fabulous day. Once again, coming up on the end screen here, there'll be some more videos suggested for you as well as links to this whole channel and my other channel. What a fun day, you guys. Just stay artsy and have a wonderful time doing it.